Hey cute people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a whole video. Dollar Tree at that. Either it would be Dollar Tree or Ulta. But since I'm on a no buy, which I think I'm going to turn into a low buy. Yeah, this is what it is. Dollar Tree is like one of the most exciting places to shop because they have everything that you can think of. A lot of things that you would need and it's only a dollar so why not go there but the dollar trees that I shop at in the area in which I go shopping they don't always have the latest stuff right away so when I see someone haul something that I want I can almost assume maybe that I'll see it in a year but some of these things you may have seen already but I just want to show them to you to refresh your memory and to remind you that this was something that you wanted so just watch the video now before I get started I just want to show you something I picked up from Staples this is a sequin cover journal I don't know how many pages are in here because it does not say but I thought this was so cute look this is so relaxing it has lined paper, of course, because it's a journal. And I always wanted to journal. I say I'm going to start, but I never do. I just pick up journals and buy them and then um, put them away somewhere. But I thought this was really, really cute. And it just feels so good to do that. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. So I got this from Staples. They had other um, colors, but this is the one I really liked. And they didn't have many, so maybe these were leftovers from... I don't know, back to school or something. But it's a journal. And it was about $5, I believe. It wasn't very expensive. I got that one and I thought it was so cute. Now, things that I got from Dollar Tree. I always pick up these LED lights when I see them. And I have four here. And I was washing it out. I have four. And I have different styles. I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I think they're so cute to put around your house, to put them near your plants, to put them in jars and things and light them up. And they do take batteries. They take um, two AA batteries and they really are so cute. And I don't know when I'm going to put them up, but I do want to put them up somewhere and have them look really cute and festive. This summer, like last summer, I had planned to buy a grill. I didn't. I plan on getting one this year, so I went and got some um, matches so these are things that you should keep in your house yeah make sure you always have these always come in handy something else I purchased which I think this is a leftover too but I got it anyway it's a necklace um, what do you call these things here the play glove and they have other things besides the necklace I believe they have um bracelets you just as you can see, that's what it looks like. But I think it's, it's three in here, and they only cost a dollar. So, you know, the 4th of July, you're outside, or picnics are out in, in your outside, and you just put it on your neck, and it glows in the dark. So I got that. And I also picked up these. I think you saw in the last haul I did, I picked up some emergency candles, but this time I picked up some plain white candles. I got these... Um, so when the hurricane comes, if I don't get these oil lamps <laughs> right away, at least we'll have these candles here. So I got two of those. And I may get two more to keep in other rooms also. I always pick up vases when I see them at the Dollar Tree. And I thought this was really, really cute. I think I'm going to put this in my kitchen. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it, but I'm going to put this in the kitchen. It reminds me like of a milk jar. If you're old enough to remember, you'll know what I'm talking about. I mean, the milk jar wasn't like this, but it just makes me think of it. And I thought this was really, really cute. You know Dollar Tree had them in different colors. But then I saw these, and I thought they were so cute, so I got these. Now, where I'm going to put these, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to put them in the kitchen, because I have other um, bottles and jars in the kitchen. But that clear one, I'm going to definitely put in the kitchen. But I thought this was pretty. They had the purple, the red, garnet, I'll call it. And then this pretty, pretty pink. And the designs are pretty much the same. Yeah, you can't see them too much. But I thought these are really, really cute. And like I said, I'm going to put them somewhere where I don't know. Especially this purple one. I really like this purple one. It's really, really cute. So I'm going to put them somewhere. And I most likely will put some type of flowers in them. Or maybe even some of those lights that I showed you. And then I got this also because... We could definitely use this. This is a Sure Fresh 
um, reusable, um, what do you call this thing here? Um, a bowl, uh, whatever you may call it. But I got this because we could definitely use this for something. I don't know what, but a dollar, I wanted it. So I got that. And then I got this too. Why? I don't know. I think it's because I saw the lipsticks on it. It's a color changing LED candle. It probably doesn't even work. And it doesn't. But this is what it looks like. I've seen these off and on at Dollar Tree. But I saw this and I thought it was really cute to put near my beauty corner which goes all the way down there i'm still trying to set things up the way i want them to but i thought this was really cute because you see the xoxo the lipstick and there was some lips somewhere yeah right so beauty so i got that and then i picked these up which i always pick up these type things here but i don't need any more because i have a whole bunch but i thought these were really really cute so i got these let me show you yeah tea light can you see i don't know if you can see but he, yeah see tea light holders so i got these as one in black and one in white and like i said um this store dollar tree always has the cutest home decor you just buy a, it's a tea light holder so you just buy a whole lot of the stuff and then put it away and then when you can just switch it out every time somebody comes to your house like well, girl you got something new like yeah I got something new and cheap and then i got this one too which is another tea light holder which i have a lot of these but i just like them and as you can see it's a sea foam green color and um yeah so i'm gonna chill on buying these two because i have a lot of these and if you've been watching my video you're probably saying girl don't you have a lot of those mm -hmm, i do and then i picked up some candles which these are not anything new but I got the scented candle, so I got chocolate mocha, hazelnut cappuccino, and Colombian cold brew. So let's see. Because I don't I know they have lots more candles. I try not to. Ooh, chocolate mocha smells really good. I try not to pick up a lot of candles because I don't need a lot. Mmm, so does hazelnut cappuccino. And these are glass. Well, of course, if they're going to burn, it would be glass right in yeah. But one thing I can say about them, once you finish with the candle, these would be great glasses to keep. I don't know if you would want to drink out of them, like a, a big shot glass, but yeah, they're cute. And then this is a mm, Colombian cold brew, and they smell just like coffee. So hopefully when I burn them, because I'm going to burn one of these, real soon when i start cooking and it better smell good another thing that i picked up i got this i don't know if you remember i hauled um some things from walmart not some things i think it was only one thing i got this so that i can use that um brush cleaner i purchased and i'm going to use this to put um the brush in i'm going to show you how to use it because i haven't used it yet but i'm going to show you but that's what i bought this for but i like this this is really cute this is really be nice to put some brushes in yeah all right so i got that and then i picked some flowers oh my goodness do they have some pretty artificial flowers i didn't know what to get i just saw pink and said i just i'll just get these these are called morning glory and they are gorgeous tell me they are not i don't know what i'm going to do with them exactly but i think i'm going to put them in something really really cute i may switch out you, you, you don't see it now, but I may switch out the um, flowers that I have over there and put these in. But these are so pretty, aren't they? Look, it looks something like that. But I don't think this is a good fit, but those I picked up. And if I get a chance to get into Dollar Tree tomorrow, I'm going to pick up some more flowers because I want a little, well, I want a lot more flowers all throughout the house. Yeah. And then another thing I picked up, and I picked these up for a reason, but right now I can't remember what I got them for. What did I get these for? Oh, yeah, to clean out my, um, I'll call it my hair stash drawer. Because I have, like, my brushes, bobby pins, all type of stuff all over the place. So I got two of these, and it's just a storage container. You just flip open here. This doesn't come off. No. Okay, so you just flip it. And let me see, why isn't this closer? Okay. How does this work? 
Okay, there it is. And then you just close it that way, and then you want to open it. You open it like such, and there it is. So I got two of these. They had these in different colors, but I wanted clear because I think clear looks a lot nicer, um, especially when you use it for in drawer storage. So I got two of those. And, and let me say, point out, too, how big they are. So brushes, combs, barrettes. I don't have barrettes, what am I saying? Barrettes, but things like that in my head gonna go in these to make the drawer a little neater because I just have everything thrown in there when I wanna get something, I have to ramble around, which is okay, but I can do better. And then I got these from, where did I get these from? Mainstay, so it had to be Walmart. So I picked these up, I think they're like 98 cents. I got these because storage is something that you guys know I'm trying to get into now only because I got all this stuff to put away and I should be doing that now, but am I? No, I'm making a video. My son is probably saying, girl, get up and do what you gotta do. But anyway, I purchased these. I had already seen these and purchased them before, but they were back again in um, Dollar Tree near me, so I got these. And um, other bloggers were showing these like a long time ago. And here I am just now showing them. So I got, um, Another white one, which I think I already have five white ones, so I have one white one. Not sure where I'm going to put them, but I know I want to put some in my bathroom for a minute until I get what I really want. But I just want to use these, of course, for um, decoration, not to be storing stuff or whatever. But I got some black ones because they came in white and black, and I got five. Did I have five? So I have six white ones now and four black ones. So as you can see, they are not really big let me show you because they're not big at all so here it is and here it is see it's not really big it's really just something really cute to put on your wall so it'll really look cute and that's what i got as far as home decor things for the home and stuff like that and then no one's going to dollar tree without going into the beauty section right okay so i gotta move through this kind of quickly always always get um some cotton balls always always and then they always have some cute masks to try this is a bolero and i got the brightening paper facial mask and strawberry and pineapple with vitamin c so that sound interesting so you know i had to get that and this one's soothing paper facial mask black tea and lychee with collagen so you know i had to get that and i think i told you guys how i felt about masks i think that masks are just something to make you relax i don't really know if they do much for you but like i said if you are a scientist and you know that they do something for you if you continuously use it like i think you would have to use this one like all the time in order to get whatever benefit it's supposed to um give you but that's this one here and then i love body wash so i figured i'd try this because it was a dollar so this is arm and hammer it's the essentials body wash so i picked this up here um yeah it's really small it's not much but it's a dollar i don't remember how it smells hmm it smells nice and refreshing i think we're gonna like that it smells it has a nice nice little scent to it it's um, dye-free, paraben-free, and vegan. Yeah, so I'm going to try that. It's a trial size, as a matter of fact. I can't wait to get to Dollar Tree tomorrow. I'm looking forward to seeing what they have because I haven't been in there in like, I think, two weeks maybe. And then I got an eyelash curler, which I already have one, but I went and I got another one because I like this color. Really pretty and festive. Yeah, hot pink they had a whole lot of the colors but those are the two that i picked well that's the one that i picked up and then i picked up um another thing of the shower steamers um yeah the next time i do a dollar tree haul i'm gonna tell you what i think of the um streamers here steamers yeah so this one here is vanilla sugar and raspberry and it's by Bolero, so and, and you know it just the the packages is what grabbed me. This package is just pretty pink. I love it. And then I picked up hmm, a Yes to Carries dual ended mask tool. Okay, let's see what this does. It's a mask tool, so when you want to apply a mask, you don't have to use your hands. And I did buy one before from Dollar. Um, tree but this one here 
is from Yester Karis and it looks a little different. Oh, okay, it's pretty much the same thing. It's dual ended, so yeah, here is what it looks like. And this is the package. So this is what it looks like. So you just swoop, put it on your face. But I don't know why they call it dual ended. Um I peel off use the straight edge of the tool to build up the edge around the mask. Okay, so if you have a peel off mask using the tool smooth over and peel off masking use the straight edge of the tool to build up an edge around the mask once mask is fully dry use the round edge to lift oh okay so if you're doing a peel on you use this part here to put the mask on and to make a straight edge around your mask and then once the mask is dry you use the round edge to help lift the edge of the mask off this is for a pillar mask okay so that's what they say that's the difference that's why you need a dual ended mask tool from yes the cap okay then i picked up some of these because i gotta get into um, my skincare again. I used to be into it when I stopped. So I got some of these which I thought were really cute. This is a facial mask remover sponges. Oh, it's, it's for removing masks. You know, when I looked at it, I thought it was something. I mean, you could still use it to cleanse your face. I thought it was a face cleanser. That's what I intended to use it for. But I see here it says it's a facial mask remover sponge. Yeah, so that's cute too. Yeah. But I'm going to use it to wash my face. I'm going to use it as a face wash. And then I bought these. Why, I don't know. But I said I wanted to try them because I purchased other facial wipes from Dollar Tree and I didn't like them. But I got those. Yeah. And I'm going to try them. And then I got these here, which I am so excited to try. And this is a, this is a silicone scrubber. And I don't know if you can see here. Yes, I got a pink one and I got a green one. And I'm going to use this one here. I mean, it doesn't say how you can use it. But I guess you could use it for your face or your body. But most likely for body. And it'd be great because it would save me some um, washing and having to clean washcloths all the time. This is like a fuchsia hot pink. I don't know if you can. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that looks like it. Okay, so these two. And these things I purchased and I'm really looking forward. I don't know if they had other colors besides these two, but I'm really looking forward to using this. Let me see how it feels on my skin. Mm -hmm. Okay, it feels like a washcloth. Funny thing, even though it's silicone, it feels like a washcloth would feel on your skin. Nothing different. And that's the things that I purchased from Dollar Tree, y'all. How y'all like my earrings? I haven't worn these earrings in a long time. So since I had this purple shirt on, I figured I'd put these earrings on. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Just something different. But listen, guys. I am going to end this video because I need to cook dinner. Yeah, I think I'm going to fry some chicken. It's Sunday, so I think I'm going to fry some chicken. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So I'm going to end this video now. If I get a chance to, and I feel like it, maybe I'll get on camera tonight with one of these um, masks here. So, yeah. And show you how um, to apply it and let you know how I like it because I'm really excited to try one of these. Which one? I'm not really sure. But I'm looking forward to it. And I hope if I do like it, when I go to Dollar Tree tomorrow, they'll have some more. But I have a lot of masks. I mean, a lot of masks. I mean, a lot of masks, I tell you. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to end this video now because we're going to hit 20 minutes. And I didn't want it to be that long. But I do want to say thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. And hopefully I'll see you in the next.